For the third straight year, the Nazareth University women hosted the Empire 8 Championship game in soccer. They met East Avenue rival St. John Fisher for the 2023 title at Golden Flyer Stadium. Naz was looking for their 13th E8 championship under head coach Gail Mann. Naz who? Naz who? Naz! Early in the match, Fisher with a chance to take the lead, but Naz keeper Annika Monfort made the diving stop and then covered. The game remained scoreless. Then at 12.50 of the first, Naz with the ball, Grace Lanzetta sent it in, and Tatum Overton got to it and scored the goal. Naz led 1-0. Late in the half, Fisher had a corner kick and a chance to tie it, but Monfort with the punch out. It was 1-0, Nazareth at the half. Now to the second half, Naz again with the ball. Shannon Skombik to Tatum Overton, and she scored her second of the game, and it was 2-0, Golden Flyers. Then at 79-43, Naz looking for more. Cameron Schiavini assisted on the goal by McKaylin Neville. It was 3-0, and 3-0 was the final. Tatum Overton was the MVP, as Nazareth wins its 13th Empire 8 Women's Soccer Championship, their third in a row, and the Golden Flyers once again are headed to the NCAA Women's Soccer Tournament. Our defense has been huge. We've given up one goal all season in conference, uh, so our defense has just been incredible. You said it. Defense wins championships. Defense wins championships. There's no question. I've always believed that, and uh, it's nice to score goals, which we hadn't done this season. So to get Oh gosh, uh, what is that, Seven, six goals in the two conference games and then the game prior to that we scored two against Elford. So, I mean, we've scored more goals in the postseason than we scored all season, so it was really great. MVP, talk about that, could you ever imagine that? No, actually, I was, I, was, I was surprised. I knew what I had to do. I knew that I had to be there for my team. Uh, as a forward, I got to score the goal, so I'm glad that I could be there for my team, and we all banded together. And we, the goals were team goals. They weren't just me. We played really well in the first half. I would say definitely the first 20, it was like our game. Um, and then momentum shifts happen, and uh, we just, the momentum shifted towards Fisher, and our defense just was getting a little bit bombarded by, by Fisher, and we just, uh, we held our own. Um, definitely a little scary at times, but we were able to push through and make it to the second half, and then that second half was ours. Winning for a third year in a row is definitely such a good feeling, and um, I'm really glad because my team like definitely dedicated um, their games to like a majority of the team most of the time, but definitely like the seniors, there's four of us, and one of our seniors couldn't play this last game. But we're going to the NCAAs, and I can't wait to have another another game with my team. Nas on three! One, two, three! Nas! Just as a special group, I don't know what else to say. The seniors, the juniors, they've, th th this team loves each other and they play for each other. And I just think it's a great year. Nazareth University student athletes proudly support the following community service organizations. Life Prep at Naz, Hockey Fights Cancer, and the Special Olympics. The Golden Flyers excelling in competition, the classroom, and the community. Nazareth University video highlights are presented courtesy of a friend of the Golden Flyers.